Holy cow, there is so many in here. Woohoo! I got a lot of work to do. How's everybody doing today? My name's Jordan and this is my boy Spaniel Banks. Uh, today we have what I think is a really cool video and hopefully an intro to a series that'll take up, you know, the next couple of years as I train him to be um, the duck dog I want him to be. So if the plan is to follow Evan Graham's Smart Work series. First thing I want to talk about real quick is why Banks, how he got to this point, as well as uh, unbox this gun supply box and see what's inside so we can get started with the program. So first thing, I have never made a video before, never talked into a camera, so please bear with me as I go into this kind of pre and post production mindset. If I look awkward talking into a camera, I feel really awkward talking into a camera. But I just you know, want to start the series to look back on Banks as he grows into the dog I want him to be. So to begin, um, let's give a little background on how we got here today and you know why I have Banks. So when I was 14 years old, it was my first time duck hunting. I was hooked, you know, couldn't get enough of it. And I remember going home and doing all sorts of research, especially on duck dogs. I really wanted to get a dog that I could duck hunt with. Parents wanted no part of it, but I stumbled across this little dog from South Carolina called the Boykin Spaniel, and I just had to have one. So after four years of high school, six years of college, marrying an amazing woman who allowed me to get him, I have finally hit that dream of owning one of these guys. Weeks before getting little Banks, I made a joke to my wife Charlene about getting a dog, and we kind of both agreed that it'd be fun. I laughed about it, so for the quick search, I came across Kate as well as Bodie from Walnut Ridge Kennels. Um, and really, Bodie is probably one of the coolest looking boykins I've ever seen. So really hoping this guy turns out to look like him. I had to take advantage of the opportunity and with a couple phone calls and a week later, Charlene and I were on our way to Lewisburg, Tennessee from Troy, Ohio. It was a seven hour drive. When we got there, man, were we excited. Uh, when we walked in, he ran up to greet us. It was awesome because we didn't only pick him, but he picked us. With a quick meet and greet, we were on our way home, and that seven hour trip turned into like an eight and a half hour trip, making our whole day about 15 to 16 hours. Um, but it was a great Friday start to Labor Day weekend. When it pertains to duck hunting, I originally planned to go with Chris Aiken's Duck Dog Basics after watching Mid Valley Mercenaries a series with Rocky. And I planned to follow along after watching a series, you know, he did an awesome job with Rocky. But something was just missing for me. And, you know, Chris is an excellent trainer, but it was a little over my head. I needed more basic understanding of a lot of the techniques and concepts. So, you know, feeling defeated, I almost considered sending Banks to a trainer for a couple of months but kind of quickly pulled away from that idea. And this is where I really started looking at alternative options. Set. In my research of waterfall training, on retriever training form, duck hunting chat form, gun dog form, as well as Facebook pages like waterfall retrievers and retriever training, two names consistently came up. They were Evan Graham and Mike Lardy with his total retriever training. After a deeper dive into these two programs, it was recommended over and over that Evan Graham's smart work program was the best program for an absolute beginner like myself. He does the best job of breaking down and explaining the concepts used to train a retriever to the absolute basics. And I think that's what I needed. Cost didn't really matter. You know, smart works is a little bit of an expensive program but at the same time, it's still cheaper than me sending him off to a trainer. And then on top of that, you know, I'm not just investing in him, I'm investing in myself as well. So I think that's gonna be priceless, you know, over my whole lifetime of when I get the training dog, two, three, four, I don't know, you know, helping friends, it's just gonna help me along the way. So I've never hunted over a dog in my life and I don't know retriever terms. Get out of there. You know, what's a blind? It's something that somebody lazy like me sits in with the heat going on a deer hunt. Casting, fishing, baseball, that's a sport. Don't know how that's involved in dog training. Point being, I don't know anything when it comes to dog training, specifically retriever training. You know, I got him to sit, that was easy, but there's a lot more that's gonna go into this series. So, without further ado, 
Let's get in and open this box up and see what's inside. So inside this box, we should have a, a few different things. A whistle, hopefully a couple bumpers, as well as the entire SmartWorks series, which includes, to my knowledge, 15 DVDs and three books. So let's see. Okay, so start, just bumper, bumper, it's a couple. Avery Hexa bumpers, you know, gonna be used to train. I only have one currently, so I think that'll be useful. Keep you busy. Acme dog whistle should come useful here in the future when I get to more advanced stuff. So, looks like all the programs come in their own case. Puppy program, gun dog essentials, men of steel, basic handling, smart fetch, no cheating. Holy cow, there's a lot. Transition in the field, walking baseball, um, late transition, early transition, obedience, water force, and swim by. You know, all new to me. Last definitive casting. Guess I'll be fishing for a dog. Lastly, so this is the book, which is three books in one. I think this will be really useful as in my research, people say the book goes hand in hand with the DVDs for training, so, uh, yeah. Fetch. Good boy. So, as far as kind of where we're picking up now, I've utilized a couple sources um, in Chris Aiken's series, and I'm sure with a lot of training programs, uh, they really push the socialization for the first six months before any type of formal obedience training. So uh, to this point, I brought banks around a lot of people, dogs, elements. I started training with a clicker following standing some kennels in their series with a uh, sprig and clutch. Through this, he's got an idea of here, sit. Um, I use kennel as place, um, as well as working on, you know, lay down or down currently. He has no leash manners. I haven't really worked on any leash manners and reason being is my thought of you know, letting, letting him explore and be curious and helps keep that drive alive. So I really have not done anything with a leash as you'll probably see with some of the videos I'm gonna flash on the screen. He's been introduced to water. He loves water. I just had him out this morning. He was breaking ice. And he loves fetching bumpers. He loves running the cornfield, um, take him across the street and let him off the leash and just kind of let him run around, explore and chase birds. He's had weather from 80 degrees sunny, 35 degrees in rain, as well as we just recently had a good snowfall. So I'm sure there's a lot that I've missed for optimal puppy training, but it's all stuff I get to work out. And hopefully you guys will follow along and um, not make the same mistakes that I make along the way. So why did I decide to make this series? Really, I, there's a lot of people that are like me that have never trained a dog, you know, don't know where to start. And looking at the smart work program can be daunting. I mean, it's not cheap but kind of want to film the series and see how he turns out. That way, hopefully there's other people like me that will pull the trigger and you know buy this program or decide to go elsewhere. For people who already know what they're doing, you know maybe they want to follow along and see what the smart, smart work program is all about. Give me tips, you know, root me on, I don't know. In um, worst case, I think it'll be cool just for myself to have videos to go back through and as this guy trains. Um, so if this appeals to you, I don't know, maybe subscribe, you know, like, uh, definitely leave a comment and let me know what program you followed. I'd love to hear it. I just want to be available for all the beginner duck dog trainers who don't know where to start. And uh, hopefully they can see what the smart work program is all about. So yeah, let's get started. And I will see you guys next Sunday with Banks' first week of following the smart work program. Bye.